see that? No, I swear to God. I see a bunch of police officers just went to the seventh floor. Hello, zombies. No, this is a creepy place. Look at how creepy. The creepiest. We are in the spookiest of hotels this week. The Holiday Inn Express. <laughs> Terrifying, coast to coast. In Salt Lake City, Utah. But we can explain. There's a reason why we're here. Let me start out by saying, this is Spencer. Spencer does my hair, and he is a cult leader, which is- Oh God. A ghost. A ghost. A ghost. So Spencer has a podcast called Cult Leader, which is on Spotify, iTunes, and everywhere the podcasts are available. And on it, he talks about cults and the cult leaders and murders and things, which is very appropriate for Utah because there's a lot of cults here. <laughs> it's true, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. You would know. Yep. And I sent him a link of 50 haunted hotels across the United States. And before I could even look at the list, he goes, I want to go to the Holiday Inn Express in Salt Lake City. <laughs> out of out of everywhere on that list. Out of these beautiful historic buildings and really creepy places that just look haunted, he right. wants to go here. <laughs> and here we are. And here we are. So. We just flew in, we just got into our hotel room, and there's a reason that he wanted to come here that I want him to tell me about. There's also a cult leader episode on this place that you've done, one of your early ones. Number five. Number five, so you're gonna tell us the whole story. <sighs> Is this looking I good? Can yep. you fix it? I think we could, we need a little zhuzh. Fix me. Little zhuzh, little volume. <gasps> me with the, just the shower curtain on my head. Unfortunately, Peter's not with us this week, so I wanted a third person and we brought Anthony along. It's me, because I'm the resident ghost expert. Oh. I know everything about ghosts. I don't. If you are an OG zombie, you know that we collabed like five years ago? Five years ago. It was my first collab ever. Now that you know that we're here, which you actually knew from the title, so this is a waste of your time, <laughs> let's explore a little. So a thing happened here that Spencer's gonna tell you about. What I wanna say is, I don't know what room it happened in, but I do know that it happened on the 11th floor. Guess what floor we're on. What'd you just say? Oh, I was saying I'm scared, because what if I became possessed? Like, thank God the windows are drilled shut. What if I became possessed and threw out, like, Amityville horror, like, the dad just loses it. Maybe that's why the windows are all broken, because people keep getting possessed and then trying to escape. Maybe the windows are broken because somebody threw their entire family off the balcony here, I don't know. Oh yeah, we should talk about that. When do you want to tell that story? Whoa. Thank you. What was that? What was that? My bag. Was that just me being clumsy? Her, yeah, it's fine. Okay. No, it was ghosts. Hers, <laughs> yeah, it was ghosts. It's gotta get spooky. July 31st. Cue the music. 1978. Cue the black and white. Emmanuel David. Cue the slow pan in. Utahian cult leader. He was a cult leader, like a Christian cult leader, essentially? Former Mormon. Former Mormon. For Foreman. 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 Basically, what happens is on July 31st of 1978, he took a borrowed white pickup truck and drove up to a canyon in Utah, filled the truck with carbon monoxide, and committed suicide. But that wasn't, like, the part that really shook everyone. Because it was what happened two days later at this hotel in potentially this very room that shook Utah, becoming one of the largest murder suicides in its history. So, yeah, we're moving around the room so that you don't get bored. How did we go from the canyon to the Holiday Inn Express? So David, his wife, and their seven kids lived here in this hotel back when it was these suites, and they were about $100 a night, but he was running into significant financial troubles because basically he had been extorting money from the churches and doing all kinds of stuff, which is what ultimately led to his suicide in the canyons. So now he's gone, and about two days later, his wife's here with their seven kids, and she's just like put into this predicament of, I can't afford this to pay this room, let alone keep staying here. Like, I have no opportunities and nowhere to turn. So she kind of comes to the conclusion that something needs to happen and her and the children need to go and be with David again. And the only way to do that is by 
everybody dying. And so, <laughs> yeah, which moves us to this balcony right behind Mikey. But it's, it, it is, it's, it's, horrific starting with the youngest the mom as well as one of the oldest daughters began um, some of the children were willingly going Whoa. some of them were pushed but basically the mom and oldest daughter made sure that all of the children went over the balcony so all seven kids they fell to their deaths potentially here the oldest daughter miraculously survived the fall and I would love to say that it was one of those situations where you come out of it and you're like, whoa, what was I thinking? Like, I'm gonna take this path in life now. However, she still to this day, from what I've read and from articles and interviews that I've seen of her, believes that her dad was a prophet of sorts and she uh, still fully believes that he's going to come back and she is living with relatives and other members of the cult that still to this day in Aurora, Colorado, believe that her father will come back. Wow. I want to be sensitive because I know that this is obviously horrific and sad. It's terrible. Yeah. But this cult, I read a little bit about it and I read that the cult is interesting to Wait. say the least. It's sad because she was a kid when it happened, which means she sure. was always brainwashed and that's inevitably 100%. just a tragedy. Yeah. Well, and I don't know about what you read, but it's a, did it talk about any of their beliefs? Yeah. What are the specific beliefs? Well, I mean, the values, I think, are just kind of off. Uh, Basically, really ignorant to a, other the majority people. of society. Yeah, not the, the loveliest people. Yeah. But extremely sad for kids that have no choice in the matter. I feel bad, because it probably <laughs> happened right here. Yeah, I know. Do you think it happened in this room? I do. I want to like go look. Yeah, let's go look. What, yeah, at the, at the room? room? It's not going to be open. I'm, I'm just going to go see. <gasps> oh my god, <laughs> what the f I hope there's even just a snippet of that falling and us all going. <laughs> a ghost. If you come to the Holiday Inn Express located in downtown Salt Lake City, you'll find this room on the 11th floor, which looks very nice. Always something that I look for in a hotel room is to make sure that all of the locks have been broken and the windows been drilled shut. Follow me this way. There's something else I really, really want you guys to check out. Mm. I decided when we got back from the airport, I said, you know what, Anthony, you know what, Mikey, I'm just gonna rest my head for a minute. And you know what happened when I did such thing? I looked up and that's mm. probably f***ing blood on the ceiling. <gasps> it's definitely blood. What? Wow, that oh is so, God. without a shadow of a doubt, that's blood. And it's like splatter formation too. Over oh, here whoa, as well. Whoa. Yeah. So. It's like they replaced these, but not the metal. They're like, hey, let's not wipe that down. <laughs> yeah. Cut to Anthony getting something from that shower curtain. <laughs> oh God. They clearly don't clean well. No. Yeah, f***ing yikes. Oh, there's more There's even more here. here, yeah. Oh my, what the freak happened in here? Is there a way to like collect samples and test it? I don't want to do that. I do. I need to know what that is. Should we call and ask? It seems like it. All signs point to yes. Are you calling the police? <gasps> Did you f***ing see that? No, I swear to God. I saw that. What? Is it one of the things where you push it and it Did that just open? Yeah. No. What? It just opened by Wait, itself. Wait, how do you keep it? I literally- How, do you, how does it stay shut at all? Okay. And, Wait, then, how... I, and then I was like, and then it went, did you catch that on camera? It, I don't know. I'll, I'll play it back. I don't know. A few moments later. I looked at the footage and I, I missed it. I'm sorry. I wish you would be willing to fake a little for the videos. We could just throw something across this room. <laughs> Go for it. Throw something I'll across the room. Throw my Spence. body in I'll like a light. I'll throw it in. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're like, did you see that? You guys. <laughs> How easy is that drawer to open? That one? You have to pull it. So once it once it gets pulled, it slides open, but you didn't pull it. We could reenact it, that's fair. Reenact it. Do it, yeah. Dramatic sure. reenactment. Ooh. You didn't touch it at all? No. Well this time you had this it. This time I did. Well yeah, obviously. <laughs> Not the first time, no. He Can saw you it. I saw it, yeah. He went. <laughs> Can you shut it and pick up the phone again? Maybe like you picking up the phone was enough to 
Well, I think that solves that. What did you dial on the phone? Like six Yo, six? what'd you dial? You want to know something actually weird though? What? I'm not even f with you guys. Price 13, right? Because it's 1103. And that's what I was looking at. And that's what I was noticing yeah. when I was looking at this and when the door opened. That's why I went. Whoa. 13? Yeah. Huh. Which is weird because as a 13 year old. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell by the way you sit. All right. Let's ghost hunt. Let's ghost hunt. Touch it. Touch it. No! Please, please touch it. Okay. No! <laughs> Push do it, it do up it, and it. look up in there to see if there's more blood. Do it, do it. There. Me getting banned from every holiday. <laughs> Only the expresses. Oh! Are you gonna move it? No, I bet there's a man who lives up here. <laughs> I just know it. I've seen enough Lifetime movies. Oh, there's like old popcorn ceilings up here. Like, this is what the place used to be. Back when Ugh. a murder happened. Oh, oh! <laughs> You know, it's relatively clean. You're about to touch the blood with your chin. <laughs> I don't want that. Oh, that's really close to me. Hey, can we put it back? <laughs> <laughs> nope. That doesn't look suspicious. You have a little uh, plaster on your shoulder, though. You definitely look guilty. <laughs> oh, we gotta use our EMF meters, yeah, our dowsing rods, our thing. What? I don't have the dowsing rods. What? They were my favorite thing last time. That was the most important. Master. You can't bring them on a plane. Why? Because there's these long needle things. <laughs> oh man. All right, guys, don't don't come at us. That's why they're not here. Lance Spencer, he's the worst. Cancel him. Leave him mean comments about how he's just the freaking worst. I brought Excuse myself. me, you didn't bring the EMF reader? Listen. Or the dowsing rods? Mother. Ah, oh, demonetized. But he did bring the laser, which he shined in my eyes earlier. Great. And your eyeball right now. You okay, brought that just you know, to harass me. Get, me get a life. I don't understand why Ghost Hunters didn't want to bring us on as the new host. Yeah, I don't understand either. It's weird. All I know is you gotta get f***ed to get f***ed. Let's get to it. Wait, what? Uh, what? <laughs> The whole cult mentality is just crazy and it's so impressionable and I always think like that was such a, like the 70s, 60s were such a big time for cult. Today I feel like it would be so hard because I feel like people aren't as impressionable today as maybe they were in decades past where it's like I feel like it'd be much harder to start a cult. I mean I did it, but mine's like a fun cult. But really, I mean think about it, it would be so much harder to start a cult today because if a guy walks around and says, I'm a prophet, people are a lot less likely to believe that man than they were back then. I think they do it a little differently now though. Now it's digitally they're spreading messages Ooh, on the you internet. Don't know you're part of a cult. You don't know you're part of a cult because the internet, it all looks like facts. Did you guys know <laughs> you're in a cult? It's called Zomb Base. Zomb Base. I feel like we should Take the stairs to the roof and see if we could get up there. Hey, I think that's a really good idea. I think we should just look. We should put some shoes on, go see, get a view up there since we can't go on our balcony. 1000%. Let's do it. We're gonna go look. That's how I feel about that. So we're really trying to go to the roof? We're gonna try. It says fire door, keep closed. But it's a green exit sign, is that okay? <gasps> green exit sign's okay. I'm ready to run. But if I push this, am I going to end up with a fine? There'd be a warning sign if there was a fine. How about fire door? <laughs> Keep closed. <laughs> Brave. Oh, whoa, that is not a good... Now I really put that in perspective. Oh, that... Further than it seems when you're in the room looking out. With that horizon so far. Whoa, that was whoa. trippy. Oh, I hate that. Oh my god, that hurts my heart. That, that, okay, that... Well, that feeling? Well, but they actually went over. Oh, yeah. How are you surviving that? How do you survive that? Oh, my God, I can't imagine. I mean. <gasps> Has never been in trouble once. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to try going to the 12th floor and yeah, seeing if there's like a, uh, enough access from there? Or God, it bothers me. What? Looking down. Yeah. Oh, getting that perspective. It didn't feel real until then. Yeah. Like, I mean, seven kids. It's real, real. How do you survive that? I don't know. After hearing it, I'm like, oh, of course you survive a fall. Like seeing it, 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 it's a lot higher than you think. Yeah, it didn't. It doesn't seem that high looking from our room <laughs> because you just see up. You can't see down at all. I wonder if mm. we'll be able to tell on camera how far. Mm. 
Yeah, that feels weird. Freaking Colts, man. We should see if something happened here. We want to know what the blood is because even though we're looking for ghosty things, we keep ignoring the fact that we found blood on the ceiling immediately, yeah. which is uh, hella weird. So. So weird. And it seemed fresh. So we are looking up if anything happened recently at this location, crime wise or other. What if it is just shit on the ceiling? What if someone had a freaking field day? <laughs> The creepiest part to me is that if there is stuff on the ceiling, I don't know, I don't care what it is, but just liquid in general, it must have been everywhere. You would think. Because in order for something to get on the ceiling and stick there, it had to drift, it's it had to splatter. Out. I know. What if it's just that the sprinkler went no, off and it's... No, look. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, is that blood? Yeah. That's blood too? Yeah. Whoa, that's really thick. I think people would, it could be food. My only thing Barbecue is, sauce, that's what I said. It's not rust, right? We decided that because it, yeah. rust doesn't come off like that. Well, it doesn't look like that either. Can you put yeah. your iPhone light on the one on the sprinkler? Hold it closer to it. That actually kind of looks like rust. You think? Can you grab that? That looks so of, thick. Can you grab that wipe? Yeah. With the, okay, you want to wipe this down here? Yeah. Oh, why is it? <laughs> I'm telling you, if somebody just straight up <laughs> on the ceiling, I'm <laughs> so upset. <laughs> That looks like old blood, does it not? Don't. Oh. What do you smell? Does it smell like? <laughs> swear to God, it smells like. <laughs> huh? I can't tell because this wipe is so. I'm gonna use. <laughs> I'm gonna get. Did somebody <laughs> on the ceiling? I don't know. The I'm sad part is that no matter what, it's not good. No, but it's better than death, I guess. No, it's. Let not. us no, know in the comments. Know. Would you rather have poop or blood on your ceiling? On your hotel in your ceiling. Hotel room? <laughs> I'm gonna get a regular piece of toilet paper that doesn't have any scent to it with water and wipe it and then I can smell it. Cause right now all I can smell is this weird clean. That makes me upset. Awesome. Look right here, there's tons. <sighs> okay, all right, I'll wipe this down too. Okay, smell it. Ew! Oh, wow. it's so <laughs> gross! What does it smell like? Smell. Yeah, my hands smell like cleaner, yeah. It smells like blood to me. I'm gonna be really what? No, it doesn't. What? You it smell does. it. My hands. It smells. It smells kind of like metal. I mean, granted, you were wiping off metal, but. But there's paint over that metal. It smells metallic. Really? But it could be from the metal. But it also could be that it's probably blood. Now we gotta, now get we gotta wipe a metal. clean piece of metal and see if that smells. That was on the ceiling. I just smelled this. What? Why? Where is she? In the thing? I don't know. Ah! Oh my god! Oh, oh, you're doing something private in there? Is this vibrating? Yeah. Oh, we made it out alive. I know, I know. I was. <laughs> I see you in there hanging out with the ironing board. I'm looking for clothes. Yeah, how's that turning out for you? Not great. <laughs> you don't see that walker. What walker? There's a walker right Where? there. Why are you talking about it like they like they, on The Walking Dead? They call them walkers. Is that? Are you word? are you messing with me? Where? A walker? Yeah. Why don't you call it a person? Why are they a walker? Cause it's a walker. It's right walking? there. <laughs> are they walking? They're right there. They? That? What do you mean they? That's an it. That's a sign <laughs> that says Walker on it. And you can't call that a they. Is she me? She made a sign. You know what? Go to hell. You can't call a sign a they. I'm done. <laughs> I got you guys so good. You didn't get us. Yes, you just we did. Like, basically <laughs> lied. For context, they were trying to spot if anyone was still awake in Utah at 12 a.m. And they were saying that person's walking. There's a jogger, and then I found a walker. You said they. That's what bugs me most. <laughs> There's more than one. There's oh. literally more than one. Walker, one number one. Walker number two. All right, there are multiple walkers. <laughs> Spencer threw this pillow full force at my face. Let's see what I throw next. You have any bricks over there? <laughs> I'm feeling really attacked right now. Those are my lips. There's my nose. 
And there's my eyebrow. Mikey, why are you in there for real? Come out. That's the closet. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Did you summon any? I had, I had Here you are. Did you have caffeine? Yeah. Oh, you're guilty. Are you scared, Spencer? I don't know. No, I, I'm like scared of like sleeping. <laughs> really? What? I mean, it's like brownish. Ew, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, what's and that? There's, there's definitely a stain That's of some sort. That's a stain sort. of some sort. Stort. Some sort. <laughs> some sort. Just, but it's right next to the window where the broken is. With the broken latch and yeah. the broken latch. Could it be <sighs> blood? What? Why would those locks be broken? I don't know. I feel like there's no okay. reason for them. Hi. A bunch of police officers just went to the seventh floor. So, hey, I don't know. Police? Yeah. Oh, why? I, I mean, I wasn't like, hey, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, <sighs> Should we go there? Uh... Yeah, I think we have to. Why? We have just to see. Hold on, Leave hold the on. the camera here, fill them in. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, that's that I could do. 20 minutes later. A ghost! I didn't see him, but you said he was a creepy guy. I think he's pretty creepy. So this is what I'm saying. Ghosts aren't scary. People are scary. Yeah, I'm definitely more scared of the people in this place. You so you're recording him, Spencer? Yeah. Right, so we're gonna die in it. Uh -huh. Oh, God. So we're tired of ghost hunting, and <laughs> we're gonna just set up a night vision camera, let it record until it runs out of tape. See if we see anything. We will update you in the morning. A ghost. <laughs> you guys look so f***ing creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you run to the chair? Yeah, I can't see anything. We don't even let her walk in the light. We should not let her walk <laughs> So it's the morning. We made it through the night. Barely. Barely. I slept fine. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. Um, you did not sleep fine. Some spooky things happened in the night. <laughs> including bleeding and weird sounds. Cut to the evidence. <laughs> Shit, so it's the morning and I'm just making the bed by myself. And I know I didn't do this. What the f is that? Spencer's been gone for like an hour. Maybe it's because he got smacked by a ghost last night and he's bleeding profusely somewhere in a hallway. Maybe I should go look for him. What the frick is that? Yeah, that's blood. <laughs> you were also in this bed last night. So. I don't know. Ew. Do you think it was just on there? It seems like a mix of drool and blood. You have some explaining to do. I mean, no. Why would my mouth just be bleeding? Could it be pizza sauce? Could it be pizza sauce? That is a very real possibility of things that have happened in this bed. That doesn't, but I'm, it doesn't look like pizza I would, sauce. I really don't know. We need a second opinion. A, a third opinion. Anthony! Wait, what the f*** is that? What? Does Did your mouth hurt? Or no. Nosebleed or something? Do you have a nosebleed? I mean, wouldn't I know? Or should I blow my nose and see? Yeah. I really don't think so, though. What if a ghost beat you up? I bet a ghost beat you up. 
Yeah, that's probably what happened. That noise that we heard last night was probably... Nope. Maybe something oh. happened when we heard that noise last night. We heard a noise last night. From me? No, from a ghost. I mean, I sleep like this, you know. We showed you. Like, you showed me you're a weirdo that doesn't I, use I a pillow. Yeah, I don't sleep with a pillow. I sleep like this. Show me your arm. It's very tan. Just a bunch of sick tats. <laughs> but, no. So then that's not yours, is what you're saying. It has to be, though. It's next to all your spray tan. Brush your teeth. Tell me how it goes. How'd brushing your teeth go? Great. I stripped completely naked. <laughs> there is no blood anywhere <laughs> on my body. And your gums didn't bleed when you just brushed no, your teeth? No, like, even, like I like brushed aggressively and like spit and there was like no blood. Then whose is that? I don't know and I wish, honestly, like it was my blood because then I'd be like, oh, okay, I slept with my blood. But that, yeah, I slept, well, I slept knowing there was blood. <laughs> it was <laughs> not on my bed. And weird sounds. Mm. I'm not convinced on the sounds. No, the sounds were real. So yeah. at the same exact time, you and I heard yes. like, what, how would you describe it? Creak, but at the same time like something was being moved? Yeah. Almost mm -hmm. like a door opening no, 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 at no, a hotel? Not a door. It was definitely not a door. It was, <laughs> it was in door. here for sure. Okay, so this is where the sound came from last night. Here, this, this general direction. But there's nothing here. Conspiracy! What? Conspiracy! What? You what? just sneezed! Yeah, I sneezed like three times. It was it was quite a, an eruption. He doesn't know why. He's he does! Why. He watched the video. Maybe because Peter was sneezing in the last one? <laughs> Gesundheit! When Peter sneezes, there's a ghost. Right here. Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh! Test that spot! Test that spot! right here, yeah. We are the best ghost hunters. Look what, at it. What? 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 <laughs> it what? just drops so much. Well, yeah, he's it's a human. He's a human, and that's a floor. To cold tile. Oh, you're a human? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're so good at this. I heard doors in the morning, and uh, they don't sound the same. Dude. I sat up right away, and I was like, did you hear that? And luckily, yeah. you said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? And then you had a different angle on that corner than I did. Yeah, I thought that I saw something move in the mirror. Great. Oh, God. <laughs> You said you saw something in this mirror? I thought I saw movement in the mirror. That's freaking creepy. But it was so dark I couldn't tell. Mm. But I was also tired. Yeah. I mean, so I didn't really freak out about it. Why am I the skeptic? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it is anything other than strange. But it sounded like a weird rattle and almost like something fell to me. You also were shocked every time a door closed and every time the air conditioning came on. Okay, That's just a motorcycle. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> that is, that is true. Bitch, you bled overnight. What are you <laughs> I talking about? I didn't. I think it was you. <laughs> That's impossible. It's there's no blood on me. There's no blood on me. Sure as hell ain't me. Then who's Wait, blood is it? we don't know that. <laughs> you think I crawled over into your bed? Yes. Bled? Absolutely. Anyway, I didn't really sleep. It was really, really, really hot in this room all night. Why, and did, you, it, why did you get up to change the temperature? Because once I heard that noise, I got a little freaked out. <laughs> to be completely honest. I also had to pee all night and I was like, I'm not getting that. You say you got really hot? Yeah. You of all the- I know. Yeah, I'm we, always we kept cold. asking to turn- Wait, I want to show them the weather too. This is the weather and what it's been. 41 degrees and raining. It was really hot in the Queen Mary too and I couldn't sleep all night. Maybe it's a ghost thing. If you're new here, subscribe. If you're lurking, subscribe. If you don't know who this guy is, subscribe. If you don't know who that guy is, subscribe. All their stuff is down in the things with the stuff and the things. <laughs> that's that's a good explanation. I'm useful in the morning. And like this video if you think some shit went down in this room. Oh yeah, it did. Like this video if you think it was blood. If it's not blood, what is it? Yeah, tell me it's rust or something, please. I want to be able it makes sense. Why would rust, rust would splatter? be orange okay. on the thing. But what other liquid is like a weird dark red barbecue sauce? Barbecue <laughs> sauce. <laughs> we yeah. could talk about this forever. Yeah. Uh, I didn't expect the Holiday Inn to be so eventful, but it's not staged. I swear this is not staged. It's the Express. I just want to point out it's a very different kind of Holiday Inn. That's true. You check in fast, but yeah. you might not ever check out. Mm -hmm. See you next week.
You just wrapped filming and what did you just say to me? I said, should we record if I just found more blood? Yeah. What is that? <gasps> is that not oh more my blood? God. <laughs> is, or is that more barbecue sauce? Wait, 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 that's blood. Why is there blood everywhere in this? <laughs> it's good here. You gotta tell me where because I can't see any. I can't see yet. We'll, we'll just try it. We go real, real loose here. Yeah. Real fast and loose. That's what she said. Just gotta give it a little <laughs> zhuzh. I knew you were gonna say zhuzh. <gasps> zhuzh. I like the word zhuzh. Anthony, that was your cue. Anthony, you missed your cue. What the f- So we're here at the Holiday Inn Express, and I'm ready to see some ghost. Are you ready to see some ghost? <laughs> <I'm> screaming. <laughs> Is this scary? I can't see up. a single damn thing. You gotta stand up, oh buddy. my god, all the way? <laughs> yeah, so when I say judge, you Okay, stand okay, up. we're not too loose then. 